So some advice that I'd give to, to aspiring team managers or general managers or any sort of management uh, space in esports is that first and foremost, really understand the space, you know, whether that means, you know, right now, since a lot of things are online, just really study as much as you can about teams and, and, and the games themselves and really try and get, get an understanding of what it means, uh, you know, to be in a league like that. Do your research, you know, really understand the leagues that you're trying to, you know, to get into. And also, like, try and understand the leagues and other, other esports and stuff, you know, those are very good things to research and understand. As well as, you know, once, um, you know, things start opening up again and things get a lot safer when when live events start coming out again please the best that best thing ever is to go to these events really experience them for yourselves and instead of just going there just for for, for the fun aspect of just you know watching uh, really like try and like understand and get to know and network with people that you can uh, obviously you know it's, there's gonna be a lot of things that maybe you can't see behind the scenes at that po point in time, but the, the understanding is is to try and understand those things, right? Uh, to talk to people when you can. You know, I, I talk to so many esports owners at these uh, at these events and, and just, just people that have worked in management and some of the players just to kind of get to understand the space itself because it's very different than what you see, um, you know, just online watching, watching, uh, watching the show. So it's very different. So a few qualities I would, I would recommend in a, in a manager uh, in any shape or form is like good communication with your peers. You know, make sure you have good communication with your, your players, your staff, and make sure that you're able to, you know, work with those things. Problem solving is another big thing. You know, be able to problem solve when things get a bit tense or things get a bit uh, tough, you know, during the time. Being ready for things to happen, the unexpected, you know. It's an interesting job to kind of understand it's not really a nine to five it's definitely almost a 24 7 job uh six day, seven days a week uh you know there is breaks and stuff but at times you know it is very very busy and very very important that i'm always on my phone i'm always checking my discord on my pc you know all these things are very important to me because especially if i'm on the road i need to make sure i'm staying connected and make sure that i am always on top of things that are going on you know throughout the day you know whether it be a player forgot the keyboard or or whatever i just need to make sure that uh we're good to go and I'm staying connected with my, my stuff. So one thing as a manager I've always felt proud of is that I've always kept really good relationships with my players and my staff. Uh, I always try and build a, build a foundation, a culture where uh, the guys uh, you know, feel comfortable to talk to me and work with me and are able to tell me things, you know, if things are going wrong or things are, or what's going on. Or even just be able to hang out with them and understand them more because I think it's very important to understand your, the people you work with. That being said, obviously at the end of the day this is a business and it's something where players could get traded or or released or, or things like that and and same with staff members as well of course and it is important to you know be able to have a good relationship with these people but not to the expense of you know uh, jeopardizing some of them needs to be happening like a trade or whatnot so a couple more of the more stressful and and, and weird incidents that can happen sometimes with and like I said you have to really be prepared with for anything right uh, for MLG oh sorry MLG Vegas uh, when we had Call of Duty and Overwatch, and at the time I was managing both teams, we actually had Taimu, who was kind of stuck in like a, a problem with immigration, and he was trying to get in from Finland to come to uh, to the US. And there's some real issues like that. And this happened. Uh, he was meant to fly in the same day as everybody else, and that got completely postponed and moved around. And myself and, and Hasha were working on on that process to make sure he could get into the country and everything. And, and you know, some, sometimes these things happen and at the end of the day, it ended up being, getting resolved and whatnot. And I'm really happy that like we, we were able to get that and he got in and he got to play the next day in the tournament. We actually ended up winning the whole tournament. So it was an interesting thing to happen. Some of these things happen. You just need to be prepared for them and try and mitigate them as much as possible. But you know, not everything's gonna be perfect all the time. So once these events start coming back again and we're able to go to these live events safely and, and you know, it's gonna be really important that if you see me at an event and I'm not too busy, uh, please please come up and say, say hi to me. I'm very approachable. And if you have any of these questions, be it about management, be it about maybe aspiring to be a professional gamer, whatever you wanna do, please come talk to me. I'm, I'm very open and I'm here to help you guys. You know, I've, I've talked with many people before and I hope I've given some good advice going forward, but that's why it's really important to show up to these events, you know, and reach out to people that, you know, you think can help you along your way of working in esports, especially in management. That's a wrap. <laughs> <sighs>